We conclude our general overview of what's new in Fireworks CS6 by looking at a couple of other features, uh, beefed up templates and a common library to die for. So let's uh, get started. The first place I'm going to go is templates. Uh, you can you can actually use templates to get yourself started and do accurate layouts. And there are a number of uh, new ones in here. If you come to the wireframes folder and open it, you can see that instead of the restaurant and travel PNGs, which we had before, there's iPad, iPad, iPhone, JavaScript, and even miscellaneous assets, which you can use for wireframing. And to open it, all you have to do is just double click one of these templates and it will open. Let's uh, take a look at the miscellaneous assets. So the miscellaneous assets will open. You can see that it's a massive document, 3,000 by 5,000 in size. And if I zoom in, you can see there are all kinds of little wireframing elements in here that you can use in your design efforts. Let's take this up to 100% so you can actually see it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to close that. Another uh, template you might want to take a look at is over here in the grid systems. Uh, all kinds of grids, 12 column, 8 column, 16, 24 column, uh, 960 pixel grids. You've got all kinds of them here. And if I open up a 12 column grid, you'll notice that it simply opens up 1040 by 1040. You can change the size and play with it. But the thing I just adore about working with these grids, let me take it up to 100% so we can see it. As you get the sidebars in here, you get your columns. These are spaced quite nicely to allow you to place text accurately. And you just build on top of them. They are basically nothing more than guides and grids. And they just work in the background here. If I go to the layers palette, you can see that these are essentially locked in place and they're nothing more than simple styles. So they're they're going to work quite nicely for you, and you can turn them off when you finish with them. All right, the uh, next uh, feature I want to take a look at is the beefed up common library. And I got to tell you, it's pretty cool. If I open up the common library uh, in the previous version of Fireworks, uh, there wasn't that much here. And a lot of Fireworks designers uh, moaned, bitched, and complained about how lame this was. In fact, we used to create our own assets and sort of trade them with each other. There was a library underground, so to speak. Not anymore. They have really beefed up the number of icons that are available to you in the common library. For example, there's a gesture here that you can use. There's a whole series of gestures for touch apps. So if you're working up a touch app, you can uh, do that. jQuery bo Bootstrap is there. iPhone icons, all kinds of them in here. Mobile icons, social network icons, wireframes. Wireframes are great. What these do are little wireframing elements where you can use them to create little placeholders on your pages that you may design. But the ones I really like are the wireframes for iPad, iPhone, and Windows Phone 7. For instance, if I choose the wireframe iPhone, I can actually come down here pick the phone frame black and I now have an icon from the library of an iPhone and this is the actual area that I can work in. So there's a lot that's been added to fireworks. A lot of it has been very subtle. Uh, the color changes are, are huge. The panel changes are interesting and I think you're going to find them very useful. And I think you're going to start looking at the templates and the common library as being wonderful productivity enhancers.